Collagen is the basis of our structural tissues in our bodies and it forms the network that surrounds our cells. At the single molecule level, if you look at the smallest scale possible of collagen, what you see is it's a triple helix. So it's got three chains that wrap around each other. It's a full 25% of the protein in our bodies and we probably all are familiar with how it changes at the tissue level as we age. For example, our skin starts getting wrinkled. Uh, bones break more easily, uh, we develop arthritis, uh, various changes in our collagen tissues happen, and this can actually be associated with some chemical changes that are going on in the collagen. What we don't know, however, is how do the chemical changes that are happening in collagen give rise to these mechanical changes, and that's what my lab is really interested in trying to learn about. My lab does biophysics research where we use optical techniques and some biochemistry and molecular biology in order to probe the forces that are involved uh, with collagen and understand how chemical changes in collagen associated with aging and disease affect its mechanics at its most basic level of structure. So what we have here is our single beam optical tweezers instrument. Um, that is used by our graduate students to do their experiments. Uh, and this is used for stretching through the molecules and learning about their uh, mechanics and elasticity. This is our holographic optical tweezers, and this was the CFI main contribution to our lab's research, for which we are very grateful. This is a much more powerful instrument than the single beam instrument in that it allows us to trap multiple objects and probe at multiple locations at the same time within a sample what are the forces and how are they evolving in time. And so Marjan is using this uh, instrument to look at collagen as it starts to assemble into fibrils. So this is the first stage in forming the extracellular matrix or our connective tissues. And she is looking at to see what are the differences at this point in the solution versus that one versus that one. Are things happening all at the same time or are they happening differently? How quickly do these collagen fibrils start to develop elasticity and their mechanical properties? And those sorts of questions are really being enabled by this instrument. 